Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargar.com and in this video we are going to look at how to calculate the week number of a given date. So this was something I was asked recently and I found interesting enough to produce a video for and it may be useful if you're involved in projects and you've got task lists like I have on screen and you want to know what is the weak number of that project. So you need to be able to start it from any date, not just the 1st of January in the start of the year, but whenever that project started. It can also be useful to count down to a specific due date, uh, like the birth date of a child, and you want to know like how many weeks until that due date, whatever it may be. So it has multiple uses. Excel, in fact, have a function called weeknum that does a similar job. It returns the week number of the year. So it's not exactly what I want to demonstrate in this video because I want the week number from any given start date, whereas that one just uses the 1st of January, the start of the year. So we're going to create our own customized version of weeknum, really. So let's have a look. We've got these examples on screen. Now the very first one, let's imagine that is the start date of this entire project, this process, whatever it is. So I'm just going to type 1 for that. No formula needed, that's the first one. But then for any other given dates, we can type equals. And then I'm going to select the date of that row. So 21st of October, B3, as it would be. And I'm going to subtract the date, the start date. So here it's B2, but that would be whatever cell contains that start date. And I'm going to make that an absolute reference, because soon I'm going to drag and copy this formula down to the other cells, the other dates. And I want this to move into 28th of October, 30th of October, 2nd November, but that needs to stay on that start date. I'm then going to divide that by 7. Now, 7, indicating 7 days a week. Because I'm doing a subtraction and a divide in one formula, I will need parentheses or brackets around the subtraction part. I wanted to subtract the start date from the current date and then divide the answer by 7 so that I get weeks, not days. And I am then going to plus one on the end. Because we've already got our first week number. The answer to that would be one. So I'm going to add one on top, so I get two. It's always one after that calculation. So if I press enter, it tells me that's week two. And as you can probably see, that is exactly seven days after. Uh, I believe these are both Sundays, I think, if I remember what I wrote. If I drag that down, it now does it for all of them. So another seven days later, we have week three. But notice this next date is still in that third week. Then we have a date in the fourth week, another date in the fourth week, then a date in the fifth week. So we are calculating the week number from any given date and from any given start date. Here it's the 14th October, quite a random date. But we can input whatever we would like. And as I mentioned at the start of this video, you can flip that on its head and work it as a kind of countdown to a date. How many weeks until, uh, as opposed to how many weeks kind of from, which I'm demonstrating here. Now, one other little thing to add to this, you know, that's wonderful, that may be all you need. But let's look at a little bit of custom formatting just to go the extra mile. If I highlight those cells, and go into my format cells window and choose custom. I would like to set up a custom format for those cells. So rather than just showing the number, I want it to say the word week as well. So in this type field, I might just select the zero so it puts a number in, saves me that massive amount of typing. <laughs> But then before that zero, 
I'm going to open up some double inverted commas, write the word week, space, close in double inverted commas, and then we have that number. So if I click OK, this is what we get. I now have the word week preceding that number, but it's just formatting. You notice if I click on cell C2, that in the formula bar, it still just says number one. You know, the week is not in that cell. It's just formatted to appear in that cell. So you may not decide to have the word week in the cell. You may wish to format it otherwise or just be ha happy with that number. But I thought it would be a nice little demonstration on top of our formula calculation. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of our other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.